So everyone, let me talk to you about the benefits of Sustanche and the good story that made Sustanche popular and famous. So Sustanche is something that grows, it's a plant that grows up, okay? And in a way it does resemble kind of almost like the male reproductive organ, erect. And on the top when it's flowering it's yellow, okay? It's a nice yellow flowering plant. And what made Sustanche probably a lot more famous is the fact that Genghis Khan used to harvest it and take it for himself and the reason he used to take it for himself is because it is being reputed to increase blood flow to the male genitalia, the penis, okay? And increase erectile um, power and lasting as a result as well as being a sexual libido enhancer, an aphrodisiac, okay? So, Genghis Khan is reputed to be the, the man in the world who's fathered the most children and has his genetical, um, his genetics furthest widespread out of any person in the world. So he's reputed to have like, had hundreds of children or something crazy like that. And he loved Sustanche. So, being the emperor or the, the emperor of Mongolia at the time, he had an opportunity to do that type of thing, okay? So, but forgetting about Genghis Khan anyway, um, many people love to try Sustanche. It's called a Yang Jing herb. And a Yang Jing herbs mean, Yang mean Jing is your, like your reproductive energy, your strength, the physical body, your fertility, your vitality, your ability to recover fast from stress sickness, injury, wounds, trauma, infection, cuts, grazes and just to have a bounce back power basically speaking, surgery, operations, all that type of stuff. Yin, yin means restorative, it's like a feminine type of nurturing quality and yang is like the male arrow being fired, get go, go forward and um, find new lands, conquer, manifest, go forward and use up energy. So a yin, sustanche is a yang jing herb. It invigorates you, enlivens you, it makes you want to be more creative and feel more passionate and confident and virile, like, you know, sexual. So other herbs like this are morinda, pine pollen tincture, the most famous is, ton famous is tong kata li, that's the most powerful testosterone boosting herb in the world. Um, you can see all of these below. Also snidium seed, cordyceps to a more far lesser degree, but also enhancing endurance. Um, they're famously used by both athletes and also just basically people who want to feel this passion and fire, yang, get go motivation, energy and reproductive aphrodisiac sexual energy increase also. So in my shop below, higher self herbs below, on the left side you can see a section including all of these herbs and a few other ones I haven't mentioned which will do this type of invigoration and power you up, okay? So there's a formula called strength that has many of them and it increases your chi and your yang jing. I've tried it, it definitely works with a shadow of a doubt. Like I felt way more sexual to be honest. Um, but the only thing is when you burn up and use up your yang jing sexual energy, it's good to replenish and restore by first of all rest and sleep, which is free natural practices, and also yin jing. Rest, sleep and relaxation, and also yin jing formula. So again we're talking about the jing, but this time instead of the yang jing, we're talking about the yin jing. So, um, Sustanche is a yang jing herb. So, you want to take a yin jing herb to bring back and to replenish your spent energy. So, a famous, my favorite and my highly most recommended thing to take for sure, which I take every day, which is a formula called Rejuvenate, which you can see below also in the description box. It's called, it has Hoshiwu super famous herb for like baldness and grey hair and fertility and in iron very high in iron and zinc great for women men like um, 
their time of the month and great for men post recovery it's a famous recovery and rejuvenation herb and bringing back your fertility and sexual libido um, but famous for hair color and hair restoration and stuff like that it has shizandra very famous yin jing herb also balances and strengthens all 12 meridian systems and all five organ systems in chinese medicine so many people love hoshu as their favorite herb many people love um, Shizandra as their number one favorite herb many herbalists personally speaking my favorite herb is maca and rhodiola but my favorite formula is rejuvenate and yeah so rejuvenate has that and a whole lot of other cool herbs you can just check it out below okay um, so that'll help balance and replenish so you not get too accumulating like tiredness or fatigue or anything not everyone necessarily needs the rejuvenate formula or a yin jing herb depending on how like young and vital and vigorous they are but a lot of people want to like dump back in healing and strengthening power on their endocrine gland system and to help to them help support them and recover from any extra energy they spend by being invigorated and kind of stimulated to a degree like the yang jing herbs do so everyone, I hope this video has been of information. If you want to treat yourself or a loved one or your partner to a little bit of more raunchiness under the covers, um, there's a section below with much more information on my website, as I said. It's about, it'll be the male or se sexual, sexual enhancement um, section and also the female or just general sexual enhancement section, okay? so. You can also see my own starting superfood or own starting uh, recommendation kit that I recommend starting super kit. That's also below at the top. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely day. And I hope you enjoy all areas of life physically healthy, mentally and emotionally balanced and healthy also. And creatively healthy and powerful and strong, confident and sexual, sexually enjoying and being balanced and healthy in that section too so life is a mixture of everything guys it's holistic it's body mind and spirit it's the it's the more spiritual like upper chakras and it's the also the middle like heart chakras and the bottom base like physical worldly physical element of life also so when we combine it all together guys that's when we have a balance in my experience of life Many people go overboard with just physical, like trying to be super successful as like in the world, making money, which is beautiful. But they neglect the spiritual and the heart. And then there's other people like teachers and like teachers and authors and people who just talk so much about spiritual stuff, but they're ungrounded. They they either have no money or else they're just not physically healthy or strong, you know. So an optimal life for me, like my one of my acquaintances on the internet says is like be a full spectrum human being to be strong and balanced with all of the seven major chakras life isn't about just like making it and being like egotistically stronger or like winning races um out competing your opponent or other people okay it's not about winning and losing especially over other people and similarly it's not about like being like more spiritual either it's not about like having the best meditation or like just talking about being in the now only or just talking about the heart like it's satisfying and enjoyable to like have a mixture of everything like it's like oh, that's been my experience I've been down both areas it's totally way better having a mixture it's all it's all about balance and harmony and integrating and connecting everything together like there's all different parts of life family health social creative, following our passion, living in our heart, being physical, having abundance, prosperity or security and money or a home, like a sense of belonging and safety physically and even communally or socially. And then being of contribution, it's like, it's basically speaking, living spiritually in the physical world, expressing the inner into the outer expressing the spiritual or the inner into the physical you know so that's all i want to say everyone <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i send you my love and blessings and thanks for your support and interest in me and my shop and my loved ones so i hope you and your shop and life and loved ones are well also 
See you everyone. Bye.